So in this video, I want to introduce you to reflecting in the line y equals x. Okay. Now, just so you kind of like can have a visual aid, y equals x is this line here. Okay. So the idea is that if you could take any coordinate, let's say this point here, which has uh, the coordinate 2, 0, if it was to be reflected in y equals x, it would appear up here, which is the point 0, 2. Okay? So the consequence is that if you reflect any coordinate in the line y equals x, it will become b, a. So the x coordinate and the y coordinate swap position. X's get replaced with Y's, Y's get replaced with X's. That is how you reflect uh, any curve in the line Y equals X. So not just a particular coordinate, but a curve as well. Now we kind of introduced that when we were introduced to parabolas on their sides. Okay, So if you've got Y equals X squared, then if you swap the X's and Y's around, you get X equals Y squared. So a curve that would originally look like that is now reflected in the line y equals x going to look like this. Now to be clear, this is a reflection in y equals x and not a rotation. Okay, This is not rotating the curve around. So when we're dealing with... Um, something like a, uh, a what, an, an ellipse, with a circle it's not going to make any difference, right? Um, if it's, you know, if it's centred at the origin. Obviously if you've got the curve, if you've got the centre somewhere else, then yes, it can make a difference uh, because it will reflect the circle in the y equals x line, okay? But I was just kind of like, the first thing that I think <laughs> went into my head was if it's a circle, if you reflect it, it's not going to change shape. Okay, so the shape won't change, but it could potentially change position as to where it is. But shape-wise, it won't change. Um, so an example of uh, an ellipse, for example, however, right? if you were looking at an ellipse, so something like x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 is equal to 1, if you swap the x's and y's, then you would now have y squared over 4 plus x squared over 9 equals 1. So rather than having a curve that um, when x is 0, you're at 3 and minus 3, uh, so, and then it's 2 and minus 2, so it would look like this. Okay, so minus 2... 2, 3, minus 3. If you reflect that in the line y equals x, then shape-wise it now changes. So it's now between minus 3 and 3, and minus 2 and 2 that way instead. Okay? So that's what the reflection would do. Now, um, but with a circle, it's not going to change its shape, but it will change its position if it's not centred at the origin. Okay. Now, for the hyperbola, your general form of a hyperbola, x squared take away y squared equals 1. Okay. looking like this will now, once reflected you're looking out for y squared take away x squared equals 1 Okay, we'll now have the asymptotes, but we'll do this instead. And so it'll be the other way up 
when it's reflected. So this is kind of like what you've got to look out for. I think the one that's really going to um, kind of make, make you think about it slightly differently and cause you the most kind of problems will be the hyperbola. The ellipse really won't because because of the addition, you know, now it's just x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. And so you could just kind of adapt it straight in and just go, well, it's just drawing a normal ellipse. Um, and with quadratics, well, it's this kind of type that we generally look at anyway, okay, when we're in further maths, rather than something like that, because that's something that we would sketch in A-level ma A -level maths. But with hyperbola, right, this is where the differences start to come in. And you've then got to think about, OK, well, what about asymptotes, right? If the asymptotes for this one are y is equal to plus or minus uh, b over ax, if you swap the x's and y's, then you've got x equals plus or minus b over a y. So if you multiply up by the a divided through by the b, you get it that way round, okay? So you've got to be a little bit careful um, structurally about how you're kind of thinking about what the equations of the asymptotes will now be um, and how to adapt your sketch to look at curves from that kind of viewing angle effectively, okay? So we're going to go through some examples and see how we can adapt this process in, uh, especially focusing on sketching hyperbola that have been reflected in y equals x.